Mr. Fo, welcome to Chanty News here. Yeah, we're diving into political issues and we see it as it is. Can you subscribe to Chanty News or the social media platform, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube? Uh, today, a number of language drama was interviewed our joint news. Now, we will the question be brief. No nobu alan kuju chamati ni nusiria sa. E kachre o my Ghana se. Se nyame ya na domna oba no be president of the Republic of Ghana. O be make sure se corruption be tu asi. Ba e kwa be so no onobu alan kuju chamati e kaso be tu corruption. Because of the law no, e be tu miyabwa miye limiti corruption. In the situation whereby a man for ye boni yenka. In the situation a man for ye boni no ma from hudi. Na agency sa omoshe se yedi emra betu na kwe munsu omanyo mojuma ba ono ni regime no meme You have promised that you will sign what you call uh, a term a citizen's contract a citizen's con con contract to wage a relentless war against corruption Ghana has made zero improvements in the corruption fight in the last four years. What can you do different? Is it just about signing a contract with us? First, and I want to repeat this, I don't think we have enough time to interrogate the corruption challenges in our country, across various governments. But if you ask what my own perspective is, number one is about leadership. Leadership by example. But when we talk about leadership by example, it's not just about leadership as a president. It's about the president and the people around you. That is the leadership by example, collective leadership by example. That's how I would put it. Number two is about the transparency of our legal and regulatory regime. You see, if you have a public procurement law, that in itself can create an incentive for corruption. That means you have to fix that. You have to fix the law. That that if you have regulation and laws that would create an incentive because there are openings for people then to, to be corrupt. Mm -hmm. Then you have to fix the law. So it's also about regulatory and legislation, but it's also about institutional response. The institutions that have been established to fight corruption. Mm -hmm. What is the level of resource allocation to them? Who are appointed into those this, this government, this government has a very important corruption. Who interview Ohnabo Alankudu Chama Teno? Osaka say, "Ene Oba Omaiga ne mwa." Amau fo pi no. Amu mpe NDC MPP. Amu di media, amu di Omai. Enti definitely there's going to be a shock coming 2024 because. Ghanaians want to do away with PP and NDC. Young Conan Cotier and Sama, Honorable Alan could be traumatic in the city as a crime. I'll tell you something. People will be shocked in this country. I'll tell you. Because, see, by the nature of Ghanaians, it is very difficult for them to tell you what actually they are thinking. I know the famous Shakespeare uh, that there's no art to find the mind's construction in the face. It is more relevant in Ghana than anywhere else. So people are not talking. But I can tell you, let us wait and see what will happen. Because you see, the point is that, number one, people want to move beyond the NPD and the NDC. I led the team in the 80s to reorganize the whole civil aviation sector. That was when we decided to break uh, civil aviation into two airport company and then civil aviation authority. So you cannot just come around and speak your way through to become president. What did you do in the past? Yes. You have a record of public sector you know, performance. So that 
actually then took me to a point where, in spite of the fact that I had been successful in the private sector in public, the UN convinced me then to start a program to develop small and medium enterprises in Ghana. 